The last time they did it was 1980. They were also a six seed, and they were also in the West region. But they hope to avoid the same fate, though, because that team back then lost to Kiki Vandaway and UCLA in the Elite Eight. All right, joined now by the head coach of those Clemson Tigers, Brad Brownell. And first of all, Brad, congratulations. But this game, I think it said so much about your squad because you go out there and you jump out to a 13-point lead in the first half. And in the second half, you had to expect Arizona to make a run, which they did multiple times. But each time your squad responded to that and was able to pull out the win. What did this win reveal to you about your team? Yeah, nothing different than I already knew. I, I've got an older group that's been through the wars and several of the guys that have been in our program three, four, five years. So, you know, we've been through the wars together many times. Um, I've got a lot of confidence in this team. We, we talked about at the uh, halftime that they're going to punch us back. Now, guys, we got to be ready for it. And they did a good job at the end of the half. They kind of cut back into our lead. But I, I felt really good about our team's composure at halftime. Our guys were a little upset that they had let some things get away from us. And we just felt like, if hey, if we continue to execute and – do a better job maybe trying to keep them out of the paint that, that we're going to have a chance to really win the game. You know, if we go back a couple of weeks, Brad, you lost your last two games before the NCAA tournament, including a 21-point loss to BC in the ACC tournament. But now you've won three in a row, and you're one win away from the first Final Four in program history. Yeah. What's been the key to this resurgence over these last two weeks? Yeah, I think we've been better defensively in the tournament. Um we did not play well at all in the ACC tournament and, uh, you know, got punched in the mouth and just weren't ready for it. And, uh, you know, I think it was good for us in a lot of ways because we went right back to work. We practiced twice on Saturday uh, of the ACC tournament, once on Sunday, and then obviously had our selection show. Uh, so I just think it got our guys' attention. And uh, it was a humble reminder that we got to play at a really high level if we want to win. And then, uh, you know, our guys knew we were – we were picked to be upset in the first round, picked against us in the second round, all those things, you know, and it just, it just motivates you a little bit. We've got a group that's trying to prove that Clemson basketball is special. And, uh, you know, we're super excited about the win today. I mentioned one win away from the final four, but this is just the second time that the program's even been to the elite eight. And the last time was 44 years ago. Uh, you and I were alive for that, but clearly your players <laughs> were not. Yeah. What does this mean for your program right now, Brad, in this time and space? Well, it means a lot. It certainly means that, you know, Clemson is more than just a football school. We've got a lot of sports at our university that are having success. And, you know, Clemson basketball is one of them. You know, we went to a Sweet 16 about seven years ago, and, and uh, now we're in an, in an Elite Eight. Certainly my goal and dream, and I've talked about it, and I told our team early in the year that I thought we were talented enough to, to make the Final Four. And uh, – you know, you just have to have really good players that get along and play play really well and play really hard together. This group does that. Certainly, this is a special time for us and our fan base, and, you know, we're hoping to build on it here uh, in the next one. 14 years at Clemson, you're the program's all-time winningest coach, and now you're one win from your first Final Four. Brad, congratulations again, and uh, best of luck in the next round. Thank you so much.